Namaskar parents. Parents, in today's video, I will be telling you how you can schedule your child's day so that you can cover maximum of his areas. People send me a lot of messages as to there are so much to do, there is so much to do. How do we integrate it? How do we complete it? How do we put it in our daily schedule? That timetable people want parents want so in order to tell you how to plan your day i'm making this video see any when a family has a child who's suffering from any form of developmental disability may it be autism or cerebral palsy or uh, intellectual disability all these conditions are in extremely demanding conditions only the child is not affected, the entire family is affected. So always try to integrate your family. It should not be that only the mother is working all alone, no. The entire family should get together and work. They should give their efforts, they should give their love and most importantly they, they should give their time to the child. A lot of mothers complain that, you know, ma'am, I'm single-handedly doing everything. Nobody is helping me. My family members are not helping me. It's okay. Start. Start with conviction that, yes, if I work with my child, it will be beneficial. This is your hypothesis. And then... Do whatever is needed in order to achieve that hypothesis, prove that hypothesis correct. A mother with conviction and courage makes a majority and this is something that I've seen in my house. And you will see, for a long period of time it will appear as if only you are working and working all alone. But then a time comes when God also comes, He literally lifts you and takes you to your target. The results are so sudden and overnight. For months and months and months you may be doing that thing. And then suddenly one day, all of a sudden the child gives you the, resire, the desired result. How? That is when God himself has lifted you and taken you to your target. Right? And when that slowly the targets are achieved no? the family friends society strangers they come and they help you so it's okay the journey has to start alone only but you will see that as you move and as you move with a lot of patience and a lot of determination you will see that with time people keep adding on positively right so, see, alone we are a drop, but together we are an ocean. But a lot of effort is needed for things to come together, right? So, all that I, I always tell my parents that, see, you can get disappointed, you can get a little disheartened. But every morning, get up with zeal and enthusiasm and work. Work with your child, okay? Now, when we see a child with, see, I see a lot of children with autism and I feel there are basically five areas that need to be worked on every day. Number one, sensory integration. Number two, gross motor exercises. Number three, fine motor exercises. Number four, speech and language development. And number five, scholastic. Uh, here, parents, I would like to tell you that it's better you take a notebook or a diary and a pen and sit and make your notes as I speak so that it helps you make a better schedule, a better timetable for your child, right? So our first thing that I always target when I get a child with autism is his sensory issues. Sensory integration therapies are extremely important. The child has tendency to run away, child has poor sitting tolerance, jumps a lot, flaps his hand, puts things in the mouth, watches from the corner of the eye, keeps touching things, keeps touching people. These are all 
sensory issues and this is what needs to be tackled foremost because the child is so engaged in his sensory issues and his stimming behaviors that he loses touch with reality he totally goes into himself he doesn't connect with the environment it becomes extremely difficult to teach that child right so sensory integration therapy most important do your child's massages his deep compression if your child has visual stimming there i've made a separate video on that your child has mouthing tendencies or has verbal stimming makes a lot of sounds has auditory issues there are videos available on every sensory uh, issue that these children face please go through them and integrate a few exercises in your daily schedule right so this is your first schedule your first schedule of around 20 minutes 20 if you can make it 30 minutes good enough but at least 20 minutes of sensory integration as per the need of your child right number 2 is the ot exercises that you say hai na ot is what ot is basically helping improve the coordination of the brain and the body that is what ot is doing and that is divided into two parts gross motor and fine motor gross motor exercises are the ones which train our big muscles right the child cannot jump the child cannot balance child cannot walk in a straight line child is unable to climb uh, stairs unable to climb down stairs so gross motor exercises helps you target these big muscles exercises of gym ball exercises of balancing exercises wherein you have to climb a ladder you have to climb down a ladder these are all gross motor exercises right balancing any form of balancing exercise taking a tray and walking on a straight line is a gross motor activity right so it helps improve your balance and your coordination so at least 20 minutes of gross motor exercise throw catch lifting weights and taking them from one end of the room to the other kicking a ball playing bat and ball playing basketball these are all gross motor activities and they also target your vestibular needs the child's vestibular needs so 20 minutes of gross motor exercise you must do these are this will while making the child do these exercises somebody has to be along with the child to monitor and to let that consistency be there you know you play throw catch with them after two to three throws they'll move away so somebody has to be there as a shadow playmate to help them complete the task okay so 20 minutes of gross motor 20 minutes of fine motor exercise what is fine motor fine motor is exercises that you do with your fingers putting beads stacking cups stacking blocks scribbling coloring uh sticking the stickers at a particular point doing thumb painting doing finger painting buttoning lacing uh playing an instrument casio damru these all will come under fine motor exercises right parents 20 minutes of fine motor exercise anything that we do at home needs fine motor putting clips combing our hair wearing clothes pulling the pajama up and down buttoning threading are all fine motor right put some fevicol on your child's hand let it dry tell the child to remove that once it's dried the thing comes off but tell the child to remove it you have done sensory as well as fine motor so integrate right integrate and whatever you do whether you're doing sensory whether you're doing uh, a fine motor whether you're doing gross motor anything you do keep a parallel talk along with it your child is doing beading come on tell me which color are ro red which color yellow keep speaking keep speaking with your child 
lot of parallel talk right number four number four is speech and language and imitation i club these three together speech language and imitation speech and language if your child is non verbal work on your child's imitation abilities help the child to learn to copy you do ah the child does the same you do ah the child does the same so imitation is extremely important club it with speech and language if your child is non verbal do vowels bilabials diphthongs uh, oral massages blowing exercises tongue exercises the scrapbook activity introduce vocabulary to your child if he doesn't know what is called what right so for speech and language do this if your child is verbal he is able to express needs work on his sentence making work on more on building up his vocabulary his tenses i have made videos on both of these for a non verbal child how you start and for a child who's just doing need based uh, communication how can you move ahead do it right and lastly is scholastic academics the child whatever be the child's level whatever be the severity of the disability you cannot cut the child off academics no academics is the only thing that will keep growing the levels keep increasing how many activities you will generate how many toys you will buy it's not possible but academics is something that is the levels are made your child knows counting okay value counting your child knows value counting okay now do uh, 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 what comes after your child knows that okay what comes before your child knows that what comes the levels are made you just have to keep following it as per your child uh, ability and wherever your child is today so you cannot uh, neglect academics a lot of parents come and tell me no no ma'am academics is not my focus no 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 academic is your focus academic is most important like for a normal child same for our children they may take a little longer to learn they may take years to learn what a normal child takes months to learn but that is okay we cannot uh, do away with it right how to start if your child doesn't have a good grip your child doesn't do standing sleeping lines doesn't know letters i've made video please go through it and teach your child 20 to 30 minutes of academics is extremely important and you will see most of the children especially autism they do not like speech and language exercises they do not like gross motor exercises but they love doing academics so please do not take away such an important part from their training right parents i have made small small videos you know of uh, all these five spheres whether it be sensory gross motor fine motor speech language and uh, scholastic i'll be sharing it with you at the end of the video i have them all lined up go through them make a schedule and integrate exercises it's not so difficult you can complete everything every day a little planning is needed and a little common sense is needed as if how in one activity you can cover one to three spheres okay so what i'm telling you please note it down make a schedule for your child if you have any doubts if you are not able to get some video you are not able to find the video of your child's requirement and need leave a message in the comment box and we will revert send us your feedback go through the video share it like it subscribe to our channel and let the shakti spread now parents please go ahead watch the videos integrated in your child's life vijay bhava tatha astu namaskar lari lari lali 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 chi mama re mama re lali 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 chi mama re Chhodam baam.
फिंगर डेक्सटेरिटी के लिए भी अच्छा है पिंसर ग्रास्प के लिए भी अच्छा है एंड ऑफ कोर्स फॉर अटेंशन एंड टू मेक द चाइल्ड लुक डाउन हाँ ट्राई ट्राई वेरी हाँ प्रेस इट प्रेस इट दबा दो दबा दो दादा दबा दो गुड दबाओ हाँ वेरी नाइस दबाओ दबाओ गुड दबाओ हाँ वेरी गुड